Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? We've got Seth. We've got Jimmy. What's up? How you guys feel? Good. Feel good? Mm -hmm. All right. Ready to learn something. Something easy. Something that kids can learn. That means also adults can learn. Watch this on the tie-ups. I'm going to start out like this to teach. Watch this. Go to your knees. Posture like this. I want my knees to be wide enough so I have good balance. I don't want to be like this. So I'm going to grab onto Seth. Go ahead, grab him. Yeah, that's fine. Now notice, who has what? We're grabbing each other's arms. He has what we call double inside, and he's posting with his thumbs. I'm going to do the same to him. I'm going to go from under to the inside, and I'm going to post on his arms. See, I have the same thing on both sides. He has the outside, I have the inside. Go ahead and try it on me. He did one and he goes two. Sometimes people will do them at the same time. Sometimes people will do them like Seth did and do one and then two, one and then two. Perfect. You seeing that, Jimmy? Okay, so watch. Many times during tie-ups, this will happen on one side. So what we're gonna do to simplify, we're not talking about both anymore. On one side, my dominant hand is my right. So I'm gonna keep my left on the inside, here. So this one's not gonna move. We're not gonna play with this one. I'm gonna set it in a good inside position. I could have the hook grip, or I'm not using the thumb, or I could be here as well. It doesn't really matter, okay? So, but I'm gonna have an inside control. On this side, you notice Seth has what he likes. He's blocking me out. This is my shooting hand. So if I shoot for his leg, he's not gonna stretch it back. He's just gonna block with his hand. I can't grab his leg. Now watch. I go to the inside and I block him out. Now, when I block him out, sometimes what you'll do, Seth, if you're on the outside, you'll push from up here. You see that? And now I really can't shoot. Watch. When I start to shoot, just block. You ready? See how you're blocked? See how you're blocked? Yeah, you're blocking. Even from the outside, he's blocking. So what I do is I push him out and he doesn't like it. So he decides he's going to come back in. That was my moment. Now you block me, block me. So that was my moment to shoot. So we're gonna go slow motion. I go inside, I block him out, he goes inside, look to push my arm, level change, grab his leg. See that, go inside again. Block me out, block me out, push, go inside. And I grab his leg. This time, go inside quick, okay? Block me out, can't shoot on you, I go inside, and I go. So it's really a combo. You already know what your opponent's gonna do. Because when, when he blocks, he's blocking for a reason. He knows, he doesn't wanna give you a shooting hand. So when you go inside, he wants to get his position back. When he goes, you go. And that could be a single leg. If we now come up to our feet, and I'm blocking him out, he goes inside. That could be your sweep single, okay? Block me out, good, just block me out real strong. One more time, watch. I go inside, he wants back in. That's when you're going for your shot, okay? You guys ready to try it? You were watching. Do you think you can do it? Okay, let me see how you guys do. Go to your knees first. And the reason why, go ahead, start practicing. The reason why I had them go to their knees is because it simplifies the movement. Now, there's no footwork issues. Everything is the arms. We take away the legs, the arms become what the mind is thinking about. When we have the whole body and we're up on our feet, then we have to do footwork like shooting and stuff. Don't worry about that. Learn the movement with the hands. Let's see how it looks. So you got that one, right? Now this is your dominant hand. Right now you have insight. So Jimmy, you're like, I don't want him to have it. No, no, no. you block him out, Jimmy. Block him out. 
I clock him out so he doesn't have anything. So what are you gonna do? You can't shoot. So you're gonna go inside knowing that he's gonna go inside. So you push him, and now when he, you want back in, that's the timing, perfect. Come around, get some good angles of that. Stay down, stay down. All you have to do is grab his leg. Jimmy, I want you to go to the inside, Jimmy. Lock him out, Jimmy. You do the same to him, and then the moment, go. Yes. Jimmy, go quick on the inside on that, this hand. Yeah, do it again when he goes inside. Go inside quick. Yep, dude. That was perfect timing. Way to go, perfect. Let's see if you can do it. Okay, so Jimmy, your dominant hand's gonna be your right. So we're gonna, we're gonna get the left inside and let's assume that our opponent allows that, okay? So we're not thinking about this, Seth. He's got on the inside. Now Jimmy over here, he's got a block. So we gotta get inside, block him out. And then, no, no, don't worry about this one. This one, now when he wants back in, that's when you go. Yes, try it again. And if you can go inside quick, go inside quick. First go inside to set him up. That's the setup. That's right. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Ready? Go inside, block him out. Block him out. Wait for him to come, that's it. Just wait for your opponent to come back to the inside. Now let's stand it up. We'll try it with a sweep single, okay? Try it with a sweep single. So, block him out. If he fights inside, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's okay. And if you miss the opportunity, you just do it again. Do you understand? So, you just catch it on the next one. Go inside. No, 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 no. I want you to do it with the time. Block him out. And now he wants in. That's it. Try it again. Try it again. Go inside, Jimmy. Yeah, go inside on the left. Ready? Go inside, set him up. Shoot. Nice. Again, one more. One more. That, that would have been a good time, but you missed it. So try it again. That's good time. Your turn, Jimmy. Your turn. So we're looking at this arm. This side, get it inside. Get it inside. Good. So right here, we want to set him up. Go inside. Block him out, and then when he wants to go, shoot, yes. Try it again, try it again. No, 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 first you gotta go inside, Jimmy, yes. Set him up, he goes, you go, yes. We gotta work on our shot. You're kinda doing a skip, don't skip, step. Go ahead, one more, one more, check this out, right here. Great timing. For, for your age, to learn that kind of timing, that's very impressive. Oh, you want one more. Go ahead, get. He was like, I wanna keep practicing. I like that. No, 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 no. Block him out first. Block him out first, Jimmy. No, 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 block him out from the inside. Block him out from the inside. And then when he comes back in, that's when you go. Yes, okay? Good job, good job. Okay, guys, that was so simple. Again, they had, a, some troubles, but they got it. If they can do it, you can do it, right? And those other kids out there can do it too, right? right. Okay, did you guys have fun? Did you learn anything? Yes. What do you wanna say? Do you wanna um, say anything? You guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. That's awesome. And then what else? We'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time with more great stuff. Nice job.